Well guys, it's the end of an era. Um, after four years and 60,000 miles of trouble-free ownership, it's time to trade in our beloved Ford Ranger. That's right, we picked up a new vehicle last night. Well, we didn't pick it up and we still have the Ranger. It's complicated, but we signed paperwork on a new vehicle. I'm not gonna tell you what that is yet. I've got the truck for a couple more days. I gotta take the soft topper off of it and the flat tow components, you know, that we use to tow it behind our RV. So I figured I'd do a proper review of this truck. We've had a lot of adventures with it. Like I said, it's bittersweet. I'm gonna tell you some of the things I really like about this truck, but I'm also going to tell you some of the quirks that I didn't so much appreciate and uh, things that I hope they improve with the new Ranger that's going to be coming soon. And before you ask me why I didn't wait and get a new Ranger, I'm just gonna tell you, I'm not a big fan of the looks of the new Ranger. I think this one's sharp. It's gonna look good for a long time. It's a little understated, I'll be honest. Um, I wish this truck looked a little more aggressive, but the new Ranger is just a little too funky for me. So um, anyway, that's why I didn't wait and pick us up one of the new Rangers. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm just gonna talk about the exterior of this truck. Like I said, I've already kind of touched on it. I wish it was a little more aggressive styling wise. Um, the front end is nice and sharp, but the back end, uh, you know, if I'm honest, the taillights are a little bit much for me. I feel like the F-150's taillights are maybe a little small, then these Ranger taillights are huge. They're just like too big. Now these are the LED ones, so they're pretty cool. Um, but again, they've got a lot going on at night and uh, it, it's almost, it's not really a, like a cohesive look for the rest of the truck. I, I don't know. The taillights are a little funky to me. But from the, directly from the back, you know, um, I think it looks good. And this truck here is the 4x4, it's a sport trim. I do have bigger tires on it and you can see my review on these in another video, but um, the stance of the truck in the back is really cool. And the sport trim has these kind of graphite colored bumpers and fender flares and um, that looks nice. I of course have the soft topper on here. I highly recommend the soft topper. I'm going to do a separate video on that, but um, I will tell you, if you're in the market for a topper, the soft topper is a great option. Um, let's see, it's locked. But I can tell you that the uh, tailgate is not dampened. There's a lot of jokes on the uh, Ranger forums about adding a tailgate damper and um, how that's like the first mod you should do. It's not a big deal. I really couldn't care less about that. The wheels on this truck are the 19 inch machined with magnetic pockets is what they call it. Magnetic gray pockets. And again, you can see the uh, Cooper Discover ATP 2 tire here. They look great. I love the white, le white lettered out look. Uh, some people don't, but whatever. I also have a uh, two inch leveling kit on the front of this truck. And I think that's much needed. Um, it actually has a perfect stance with the two inch level on the front. Again, moving to the front sport package, you've got the gray bumpers. You have the um, gray, uh, you know, bezel around the uh, grill and also the dark colored kind of headlights uh, housings, which is cool. Anyway, um, the exterior of the truck, like I said, I mean, that it is what it is. I would tell you that the headlights work pretty well. They're not LEDs. These are the uh, halogens. They're not HIDs, they're not LEDs, they're just your, your halogen lights and they, they work really well. They have the auto, uh, auto brights and auto brights are awesome. Like they, they, they bright and they dim exactly the times that I would do it myself. Now coming into the truck, I will tell you um, the handles on this truck are just the, the bla you know, black plastic. Um, the mirrors on this truck, black plastic. Again, this XLT 4x4 Sport. Um, they're kind of fading a little bit after 60,000 miles, four years, and this truck's never been in a garage. So that's something to consider. Um, you know, we flat tow it behind our RV, we travel full time. So she has never seen a garage. <laughs> Just uh, something to keep in mind. Now the trim on the outside here, the belt trim, you can see is kind of weathering and turning like white. That's strange. And it's only doing it on this side. So I don't know what's going on there, but, um, it's, it's, not, it's not a good look. So I'm disappointed in that. Oh, one other thing that I will show you before we move to the inside. Uh, up, at the, up on the roof, you have these rails, this uh, you know, kind of filler trim. And at the back, there are aluminum pieces and the, uh, the paint is flaking off of them. And this is a pretty common thing from what I've seen with all Rangers. 
Some of them are even worse, but on both sides, they're having that paint come off of there. So just something to note. Uh, one other quick note about the exterior. We have hail damage on this truck. We've got some, some big dents here and there. You can see a couple here, um, some big dents. But the hail that, that hit this truck was really pretty big and then there were a lot of smaller ones inside. Um, the, the big ones are the only ones that damage the truck. And this is something that a lot of people don't think about. It's kind of the thickness of the metal, the quality of the metal used on the vehicle. Um, I will tell you that the metal on this Ford, I was very impressed because I watched this thing get hailed on and I thought it was going to be way, way worse damage wise. We've got one big dent here in the bed, one big dent here in the door. Again, this was from the hailstorm, actually hit the side of the truck. Um, and then, like I said, some big ones in the hood and the roof. But other than that, not a lot of small dings on this truck. And that tells me metal strong and um, it's, it's, it's tough stuff. Now let's move to the inside. Now, opening this truck up, uh, you can see the inside of the Ranger, again, like the exterior, I'm gonna pull the key out here. Like the exterior, pretty understated. There is not a whole lot going on in here that, that makes you really stoked or feel like you're in something special. Um, you know, you got the Ranger embossed in the dash there and uh, you can excuse my mess. I got a bunch of BG products down there. I always use 44K in the fuel tank and MOA in the motor oil on my, on my vehicles. So just a shout out to BG products. This truck has the cloth seats. Uh, they are heated, which is amazing. So heated cloth seats, I mean, that's where it's at, let's be honest. You've got a couple of USB ports down here. You also have a couple of USBs in the back. Uh, I put these pop socket things here so I can hold our phones. And then of course you have the screen, which is currently filthy. We'll just wipe that down. And uh, yeah, that looks better. <laughs> so the gauge cluster is, is nice. Uh, you've got white numbers with the uh, blue needles. And you can see here 50, 58,283. So just getting ready to come out of our five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty. Um, as another reason to look at the trade. Steering wheel is, I mean, it's fine. I will tell you that the leather, quote unquote, that is on the rim of the wheel is terrible. Um, it, it gets this kind of slick, uh, you know, after 60,000 miles, it's kind of slick and just doesn't feel nice in your hands. The wheel itself is okay. You've got little thumb bumps here, you know, little bumps and, and thumb holes, but uh, not, not very aggressive. And uh, like I said, the leather is just terrible. I, I wanted to rewrap this actually for a long time. One big quirk that I will tell you about is getting in and out of the truck. You have the headlight switch here. And what I have found is when I get in the truck sometimes, I will bump this with my knee and rotate that knob from auto to headlights. And then I get in, I start driving. And when I go to get back out, I shut the vehicle off go to get out and it's dinging at me and I need to uh, turn them back to auto or turn them off so that has been annoying um, this truck has fog lights here is your uh, gauge adjustments you've got your jellyfish launcher here aka bed light mirror adjusters uh, power folding all that sort of thing so you got kind of the basics in here but it's it's nothing spectacular I will tell you that I hate the placement of this four-wheel drive switch. I bump it a lot and accidentally switch to four-wheel drive when shuffling around. This truck has the rear locker, rear locking differential, which is amazing, except it shuts off after like 20 miles an hour, so you can't have any high-speed fun. And I also do not, I, I hate this, the uh, thumb shifting for the transmission. I want to be able to bump it over and physically move the stick. I don't want to have to use my thumb to do these little gear shifts. So really those are my little complaints on the interior. But other than that, I mean, it works great. The auto, uh, you know, um, dual climate works well and keeps us comfortable. So um, there you have it. That's the inside of this truck. Now let's talk about the technology side of my 2019 Ranger. Now, as far as I know, this is a, pretty much the same as the brand new Rangers when it comes to tech. Um, what you have is Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. This truck has no factory navigation. The, the menu is okay. Um, you know, going through your audio, uh, let me just, just turn this down here. So your audio, your Bluetooth connects right away. Um, you have climate. 
you have your phone and your apps and that sort of thing. There's not a lot of apps I've found on this compared to other vehicles. Um, the, the climate though works fine. The nice thing, and I really applaud Ford for this, is you have hard buttons down here, not only for the climate, but also the radio and stuff. So that's really awesome. Um, what I will say is it's, it's a little bit tricky because I wanted, I want radio display in my MFI. Uh, in other words, if I'm cruising and I have Android, uh, you know, maps going, Google maps going here and I'm listening to a song, there traditionally is not a song title here. So I want to be able to see that in my MFI maybe, but it doesn't display any radio info in the MFI. Now I will tell you Android Auto had a recent update which allows to split screen and it shows the map, it shows uh, some other information here and then also will show you the song and your uh, like YouTube music or Spotify uh, song selection. So that helps a little bit, but that was an early frustration uh, with the truck. Other than that, as far as tech goes, it works about like anything else. This screen is not bad. Um, it, you know, once it gets booted up, it's it's responsive and it works well and, and it's fine. So yeah, not bad. So there you have it guys. That's my uh, just quick review of our 2019 Ford Ranger. Would I buy one of these again? Uh, yes, I would. And uh, like I said, if I, if I liked the looks of the new upcoming Ranger, I would have just waited and bought one of those. But I was ready for something else anyway, and I didn't want to buy the same truck over again. So we went with a different vehicle, and I'll tell you what that is later. Like I said, we'll, we'll make another video about that. But suffice it to say, we have enjoyed our time with our Ranger, and we appreciate the uh, the four years of hard work that this guy's put in for our family. And uh, I hope Rango goes to a good home. So if, you're, if you see this truck online and you're considering buying it, pick it up because uh, it's, it's been great for us. So there you have it. Thanks, everybody.